all right everybody how y'all doing and welcome back to my channel um recently a viewer reached out to me on the compass 13 megabit per second wi-fi um adapter he reached out to me because he brought one and he don't know how to set it up so in this video here i'm just gonna go over the setup pr uh, quick processor and everything that you need to know about setting this system up anybody who brought the on um, compass 1300 megabit per second wi-fi adapter then this should work for you a lot of y'all don't know that the drivers are connected into the device so there's no installation cds there's no drivers off the website because this model here comes off of aliexpress if you don't mind the wait for two to three weeks then you're good to go if you do mind the um if you don't if you do mind it and it bothers you you can go to amazon and purchase you a 1300 um wi-fi adapter a usb dongle that you can go ahead on and connect to your usb port 3.0 into the back of your system like tp link um felt smart etc asus if you still love asus which i don't because i have major issues with their motherboards and the only motherboard that i do have by asus is the um socket 775 which is still growing growing strong but this video today is to go over the setup of the Comfast 13 megabit per second wi-fi adapter i'm gonna go ahead and then take it out the box for you so y'all can get a good good understanding what comes with it is your cable the adapter model number w785 ac 1300 megabit per second and as always like i always say always go over your instructions this will help you out a lot and i know some of y'all just junk it don't care about it but this is how i know how to set it up myself but i'm gonna go over the um quick details with you myself so let's get right into it viewers Alrighty. Alrighty. and this is screen here which i'm switching over because this is where everything is going to start taking place at and i'm gonna go ahead and do the um setup without no installations now y'all keep in mind as you look deep down inside everything is facing backwards so don't plug it in like this turn the cable upside down and plug it in like i'm doing here make sure you turn the cable upside down and plug it in it's a nice good deep three inch cable thick you can't go wrong with it if y'all know it is the blue tip which is 3.0 some of them are 3.2 3.1 but this is 3.0 it is backwards compatible if you have a um if you're on the 3.2 or 3.1 this is backwards compatible so it will work for those systems as well too okay let's straighten it out you know gotta make it look nice and pretty and you plug it in the back of your port over the ethernet port now, I don't have a camera to show you that, so I'm sorry, Bill. Just bear with me. Okay, once you plug it in, you see this to the bottom. CDJ Wireless Network. That's what you look for. CDJ Wireless Network because, just like I said, the drivers are connected inside the adapter. They are connected inside the adapter, and as you notice, into the installation process, there is a blue light that comes on when the installation is done. If you don't see that blue light, that means you did not install the drivers and it is not plug and play. Most companies are staring away from the plug and play process because this is so much headache, downloading viruses, malware from third, fourth, and fifth party um, um, sources. So they don't want you doing that now. So you're gonna have to download the drivers off the source from the device and as you notice whatever your letter is in your computer you most of us all have C as our main drive you might see a D you might see an E you might see a F 
you might see a G, etc. Whatever letter you see, that's the letter you click on. It's going to say, in my case, my letter is CD Driver J Wireless Network. If yours is a different letter and that's a wireless network, you're going to click on that folder. You're going to go ahead on and open folder to review files in File Explorer. Okay. Now, as you see here, I'm waiting for everything to, to load up. As you see, you see auto instructions, auto run, and setup. You do not want to click on anything but setup. So now it's all finished. Once everything gets read through, most of your systems might be faster. Most of your systems might not. I am on the Ryzen 7 2700X, uh, 8 core 16 thread with 32 gigabyte of RAM. So once you see this, you're going to right click first select it once you select it you are going to right click and you are going to click run as administrator what run as administrator does it allows the software to go in other folders and deep into the operating system folder that most regular run and play does not do so if you click run as administrator you are the administrator and you are taking advantage over the operating system so that means the program can run fully on windows 10 when you boot it up it reads it right away if you don't understand what run as administrator is i will be putting that website information in the description below so you can understand it now once you go ahead on and select setup run as administrator you're going to click on that you're going to hit yes. It's going to say unknown source publisher. That's okay. We know what it is. So just go ahead and click yes. And you will get this here that pops up ready to install. Once you see this here, you are ready to go. You just click install. Now, if you look into the into your right hand corner, mine's I keep always keep my taskbar up top. Some of y'all probably like your taskbar to the bottom. Once you go ahead on and see this, it Earth turns into readable source. Then it's let me know that everything is fully installed. And when you know it is fully installed, just like I said, when you plug it in, you do not see a blue light here. Let's see if I can get her in. You see the blue light on. Once you see that blue light, you is ready to go. Now you can go ahead on and log on to your Wi-Fi. Once you go ahead on in, see that blue light, you click on that earth bar. As you know, I keep my taskbar on top, so I'm gonna keep you out to the bottom. You click on the earth, the, uh, the earth globe in the corner and you will see your network in the corner so now you i'm gonna click on mines mines is clean sky network connect automatically now once you see your network in the corner you're gonna go ahead on and connect to it now i am all set ready to go because I had set this up before and it recognized my settings and saved it and I am ready to browse the internet and there she go internet is up and popping we are up and running there she go yes and without no hesitation she fires up just like that a quick snap and you cannot go wrong with that now just like i said a lot of devices are plug and play the only device that is plug and play is ed up wi-fi um, adapters you plug them in it picks up a third fourth fifth part of the um, source and it go head on and do what it has to do but in our case scenario we likes to go ahead on and download the driver so we don't get no hiccups as we turn on our computers and start up the confast 1300 megabit per second the drivers are built inside the system once you connect everything up you're gonna go ahead and get a notification with a drive letter number on that will say it can say c it can say d e f g etc wireless 
device. Click on that folder, click on the, uh, the review files, and once you click on it, wait till everything loads up, you're gonna see the setup button as I showed you, the setup Wi-Fi indicator. You're gonna select that and you're gonna right click it and run as administrator because you are the administrator of your system. Once you do that, then you are set ready to go. Now to ones who have brought this in that did not know how to set it up, this is a great, great device and I paid a little low money for it. So if you look in the purchase this and you don't mind the wait, then you can go to AliExpress, which I'll be putting their website link in the description with this in and go ahead on in and purchase it for yourself. Now, when I had brought this myself, I brought this out my own money. This is not a sponsorship. Everything that I do on my channel is out my pockets. So to the ones who brought this here and don't know how to set it up, it tells you in the instruction manual. We take time to read it. If you don't like reading it, then this video will be a good source, helpful out for you, and you cannot go wrong with that. I want to thank y'all for watching. If you find this a quick tip helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more tips and cleaning advice, etc., with your system. If you think you need to upgrade, I will explain that clearly to you if you see me questions out i would mind answering them for you but other than that all is good thank y'all for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace